Hey, what's up, guys? 9 to 2010 from Micro.com. I have a uh, tobacco review for you today. This is from Nakla's brand new line, uh, their mixed ice line. This is the apple ice uh, mix, which is a apple, green apple, mixed with mint. Hey, can you turn on the light? Thank you. Um, fuck. Dude, I'm dripping everywhere. Um, I'm not going to take it out and show you. You're just going to have to take my word for it. Um, this tobacco is very, very, very <laughs> juicy. Hey, relax. Relax. Uh, it's very, very wet. Um, much like miso, but a little bit more than miso. Um, it's not anything like the regular Nakla line. This has, uh... Go! Sorry. I'm watching the Cardinals game. I'm a little... I'm excited for this year. Um, anyway, um, I was trying to get this review done on the commercial, but they cut it short. Anyway, um, very, very wet, so I'm not going to show you, but the cut is standard knuckle cut. Medium, uh, fine cut, choppy, and uh, natural in color, but it's, I mean, it's pretty soaking wet. It's actually dripping all over my chair, all over me. Um, the smell smells like a green apple mixed with mint. Um, it's like a green apple candy, like a Jolly Rancher, but it's not overly sweet. God, it's getting everywhere. Um, not overly sweet or anything like that. It, it is very, very crisp. It's like a crisp apple, um, and then a little bit of mint in the background. Um, very nice. Um, one thing that is with this is I think with this line, I'm going to have to put it in some other bowl than Egyptian because with uh, miso and this one so far, when I've packed them in Egyptian bowls, they drip down into the stem and my grommet and hose or my bowl port just get gummed up with all kinds of juice. So this one, I know Nakla is more traditional, so you usually want to put that in like a clay Egyptian bowl, but um, this one I'm, I'm going to probably try it in a funnel or a tan or a uh, funnel or a vortex bowl just to see how that works out because it's very very wet. Um, anyway, KM single pair, got a Egyptian clay bowl, god, my hands are sticky, uh, and three Leonara coals up top and a wind cover, and then my social, brand new Social Smoke Professional Lounge Series hose. Um, been smoking for a little over a half hour now, um, so let's see what we got. Pretty good clouds. A um, little bit bigger than normal knuckle clouds, kind of like a miso cloud or something like that. Very white and uh, big, poofy. Um, not sure what to say about the taste. You don't taste much apple on the inhale or the exhale. On the exhale, you get the full mint. It's very, it's a cooling mint, but it feels warm, um, almost chemically, like hookah hookah spearmint was for me. Um, and I think I can contribute part of that to the coals. I think the coals are actually getting a little bit of that taste on the tobacco, which is unfortunate, but um, they're, ch they're cheap. You know, they're $8 for 120 coals. So, um, um, anyway, um, I think that's part of where the chemical taste is coming from, but the apple comes in after you exhale. The aftertaste on the back of your tongue is like a green apple. Um, I was expecting it to be double apple with mint, um, but it is actually just a green apple. That's the only apple that's on the box, and that's all I smell. Um, I taste a little tiny bit of a hint of double apple in the background after you finish exhaling, but not enough for it to be a double apple mint. It's, it's a green apple mint. It's pretty nice, though. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I'm... I was expecting a little bit more from this lineup because I was really excited to try the new line, but it is what it is. It's about a 7 out of 10. It's a pretty average tobacco, but, you know, um, it's decent. It's not bad. I'll smoke it again. Like uh, I'll probably try it again with Jammers to see if that's um, what the root of the chemical taste is. If that is the coals, um, then this will probably be a little bit better without those coals, but... For now, 7 out of 10, it's still a pretty decent taste. 
Um, I would like more apple to come out in the taste, though. Um, there's not enough of it there to be a apple mint. It's more like a mint with a hint of apple as of right now. Um, so if you're expecting strong apple, it's not what you're going to get. Um, it's going to be more mint with a little undertone aftertaste of green apple. But in the, that's what I think is weird is because in the smell, it's all green apple. I mean, it's a really strong green apple, like a Granny Smith sweet crisp smell. And I'm not getting that in the flavor. So 6 or 7 out of 10, just because um, I was expecting a stronger apple taste just based off the smell. But, I don't know, I mean, it's all right, you know. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Um, like I said, if there was more apple, it would be awesome. But it's kind of disappointing. Um, give it a shot, though. You know, it's a new line, so I'm sure the next batch will probably be tweaked a little bit, maybe. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, guys, that's it for this review from me. Um, I'm not 2010. Subscribe if you like my reviews. I'm going to be doing a bunch more here. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.